Hi, and welcome to AQS Quilt Week Spring Paducah. I'm Tamara Haynes, and I am here with Antonio Herring from North Holland, North Holland, Netherlands, and she has won an honorable mention in the miniature quilt category, sponsored by the Flynn Quilt Frame Company. Congratulations! Thank you. We're here with a wonderful creation. She has done Dream Time Two, two, two. Yeah. and we w we want to hear all about this inspiration, this beautiful quilt. We also want to hear about Dream Time One. Okay. Okay. It's about our vacations five times in Australia. And I wanted to make a quilt about that, and first I made a big quilt. Okay. And that quilt that is um, about 61 inch. Oh, okay, okay. On, uh, width and length. Mm -hmm. And the circles on that one are four times bigger than this one. Oh my goodness. I wanted to make a quilt in Aboriginal language, okay. uh, and they dot. Uh -huh. They make art by dots. Okay. So I put 7,500 dots on them. I hand applique them, that was the first quilt, and on this quilt is about 1500 dots, okay. and uh, I put a kangaroo on it of course, but mm -hmm. all in mm -hmm. Aboriginal language. Okay. So uh, it's a very colourful quilt. I bet. And yeah. I love the graduation and the colours that you use. Now how did you achieve that? Uh, there was a collection from McKenna Ryan, okay. she is a, a machine appliqueer mm -hmm. and she uses mm -hmm. very soft fabric mm -hmm. and the fabric she uses is uh, not too dense okay. because I'm a hand quilter uh -huh. I need fabric that I can get through with get my needle through. Yes. and yes. if I use a batik, batik, batik. Mm -hmm. um, it's too dense okay. I cannot hand quilt it right. um, and she had a collection going from pink to green okay. from yellow to um, dark purple, dark purple. Mm -hmm. um, the aqua colors, so mm -hmm. I could, in the first quilt, I could make sections like the earth, yes. the sky, and the water. Yes. Yes. And on this quilt, I used the leftovers. Okay. And I used the different backgrounds to create the same illusion. Mm -hmm. And you know, in the circles, you can, because it's graduated, you can go from one color to another, mm -hmm. but not, uh, not too abrupt. Not too abrupt. Very yes. Yes. Slowly. Very gradual. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's, mm -hmm. that makes a lovely, lovely quilt. Absolutely. Now let's talk about these dots. They are so tiny. How yes. did you achieve this? I use template. Okay. And um, my husband has a technical company okay. and he has kind of metal things. Mm -hmm. And when you hit on it with a hammer, mm -hmm. you get a little punch so you out punch of it. Out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then slightly bigger the fabric. Okay. And I use a thread. I thread. Uh, mm -hmm. I pull a thread in it and I pull it. Pull it around. Yes. The template. Around, around the template. And okay. later the template gets out. Okay. Okay. So that's a very tiny. Yes, work. it is very tiny. Yeah. And so all hand done. So you can take this with you. Yes, I can. Yes. So yes, where were your travels when you were? I have worked on this quilt on the Shetland Islands, in Italy, in Austria, in Holland, of course, yes. and in Scotland. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> so it's an international quilt now. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. And you are a veteran t winner with us. Tell us about that. How many, um, how many uh, awards have you won? I have won the Best Head Quilted Award in Albuquerque. Mm -hmm. I have won a lot of first prizes, second prizes, third prizes. This is my fourth time in Paducah. Mm -hmm. And strangely, I never won anything in Paducah. Really? Yeah. So this time I was really surprised that my miniature yes. did it. <laughs> yes. Well, and you're, you've got some wonderful competition here as well. Oh, wow. So the, they quilts. are amazing. Yeah, amazing. they're amazing. So, and I think you've won over or 19 awards, did yeah, you say? Yeah, with this one, 20. With this one? Yeah. 20. Well, yes. congratulations. It's so Thank fun talking much. to a veteran. And, and um, we can't wait to see your next uh, oh, yeah. quilt. Yes. So will it be miniature or will it be large? Um, the one I'm making now is a Christmas quilt, oh. and it's a big one. It should okay. be finished, but because my father died last year, I didn't have enough time to make a big quilt. Okay. So it wasn't finished, but it will be finished. And if I think it's good enough, because mm -hmm. I'm not making quilts for shows, mm -hmm. I'm making quilts I like to make. Wonder, yes. And that, those when are the I best. think it's good enough, I try to send it. Yeah. 
stuff. And though. maybe you will see it next show. I oh, don't know. we hope so. We hope so. Thank well, you thank you much. so much for joining us and thank you for spending a few minutes with us. We hope we've inspired you to enter your next creation in a quilt week contest near you.